Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Roach XO. I'm in need of lamps, beds, bed frames, a futon set, couch or sectional sofa, table and chairs, six chairs, grill, another TV, Nintendo Switch, vacuum, dryer, washer, and tables, three dressers, a hanging mirror, cat tower, Christmas tree, rugs and hangers. Poster, let me know what you got, please. I get paid on the first because I only get SSI, and I also have my girlfriend kids also, so close for the them, maybe. Are you serious? I was wondering too. A Nintendo Switch is not a need, nor a TV. Those comments hit the nail on the head. I mean, a Nintendo Switch and a TV is definitely not a need. One could also argue that a cat tower and a hanging mirror are also not needs. Most of the stuff they added really aren't a need. This next one is by Aver Not Big Gay. Hey Bean, I want to ask you something. Hi. That one C, are you using CSGO Box? Can I have your CSGO Box, please? I'll trade for them. I have six times Riptides. Uh oh, can I have one please? They're two dollars each, dog. You can get cheap cases on the market for like three cents. Okay, monkey. What the fuck? I find it a bit amusing that even after all this time, and beggars we all know they're well aware of, themselves, their actions, and others like them, haven't picked up that being rude isn't gonna get you what you want, especially when you insult someone. This next one is from Legitimate Table. Yeah, cunt. My cousin was getting up and getting ready to come get the futon. She was showering and everything because she didn't want to be stinky while coming to get a futon. You're a bitch and couldn't even communicate with her. Instead, you just went ahead and blocked her. It's a good thing she reported you so that you'll never be able to sell anything on here again, and I'll make sure of that. That was just the rudest thing I've ever heard about in my life. You couldn't even give her a chance to get up, get cleaned up, and message you. I feel like there's a bunch of context here. I have a feeling this person was probably given ample amount of time to be able to come and get the futon, but they just kept pushing it out, taking their time, until the person giving it away finally said fuck it. This next one is by Used to Be Cats and Boys. Well, freelance artists are usually pay at a cheaper rate. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I do more specialized and high quality stuff for my clients, so that's usually the major price reason. Well, will the cheaper rate be okay or no? Huh? Hi. Unfortunately, the rate is not high enough. I'm quite sorry for any inconvenience. There are a lot of artists under the hashtag Blender3D tag who may be able to provide cheaper commissions. So, no? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Unless you are able to do a higher price. Sorry. <laughs> Why does this happen to me? Like, I always be rejected by talented people who I needed help with, but they always just reject me and I even promise them we'll pay them when we hired them and make enough money for the Kickstarter and we'll use the money to them. But then they had to act like idiots and rejected my project. Stupid idiots. Hi, I'm muting you because you are not being very professional. $20 is not reasonable compensation for what you are asking. So learn Blender yourself, or pay up. Goodbye. If only more people were just brutally honest like this with the beggars, but that's the catch. A lot of people are. It's the beggars that just don't accept it. I have a feeling here though, they had no choice. This next one is from The King Caddy. We finally have a weapon against the are you gonna pay me crowd? Now that I have access to AI generated art, I wonder what use I have for you. The uppity online artist charging $275 just... The sad thing is, you know it's a beggar that put this together because AI art has already been proven while it's good, it's still not as good as the original. And even then, if you have AI do art copying somebody else's work, you're effectively stealing it. This next one is by Shoulda Prayed Harder. Hi friends of blank. I start my new job Monday. So excited. And I'm needing the community's help to look the part. 
Since I am just starting out, I will not have a paycheck for two weeks and need some help with essentials. Things have been tough lately and I'm looking forward to getting back on my feet. <laughs> Here's my wish list. <laughs> Number one, designer handbag. We'll accept either Gucci and or Fendi bag in comments. Number two, any color size six designer shoe must be Jimmy Choo or Louboutin only. Number three, new fob key for 2021 Cadillac Escalade. Battery died in mine. Number four, toilet paper, hand soap. Must be two ply. Number five, kiddos need new water bottles and nothing cheap because blank kids will shame them. Yeti and Hydro Flask only. Number six, Nespresso coffee capsules. No decaf, but I do like flavors. Number seven, 10 ounce jar of mayonnaise. Need for my little one's eczema. <laughs> I, can't I can't help but laugh at those first three. Like honestly, a designer handbag and shoes. I really don't see anybody donating that. And in the end, they really shouldn't be on the list at all. This next one is from Wayne E. Quest. $300, one bedroom RV for rent, fixer upper, possible trade for I have a 28 foot Terry RV that needs extensive interior work done. I'm willing to trade rent for upgrades to RV, but you must make the improvements before moving into the property. Monthly RV rent is $300 and the lot total is $600 monthly. Includes water, capped. Monthly lot rent due from the beginning and not part of the improvement deal. That will come from the $300 monthly RV rental. Includes all park amenities. This is for one person only. No exceptions. We'll also consider offers to purchase RV with option to rent campground space. Email, text me for details. If I'm understanding this correct, they want somebody to pay them while repairing their RV to live in their RV on top of paying lot rent? How much more entitled and choosy beggary can you get? If I'm wrong, chime in in the comments. This next one is by a gas mask dude. Seeking paid writers to write 50,000 words of word building lore for blank. Contact super beggar. Needs, I need you to write lore to 500 words a section for each of the 4 to 7 sections on a page to 2,000 to 3,500 words total a page. Budget, the budget is 50 pounds or whatever that exchange is to in your nation's money. Non-negotiable. Do not comment if you are going to complain about my budget or terms. You will be blocked. Please read all these links if interested. You're asking for so much, but paying so little. And then the fact that you want to block people because they're going to complain about your terms. Your terms are shit. Bottom line, have fun writing the lore yourself. And our final one is from Iguzki. Background. I have EBT, also known as SNAP, or food stamps because I am disabled. Back in 2017, when I moved into an apartment building in town, I'm walking back from a drugstore, think Rite Aid or CVS. This lady, a tenant of the same building, stops me and starts giving me this sob story about how her oldest son just died and he was the one buying her groceries and she has not eaten in three days. Now, she looked to be in her early 80s and while it looked like a stiff breeze could tip her, she did not look malnourished. Anyways, I did feel bad, and I'm a sucker, so I offered a walk with her up to the drugstore. They carried frozen food and snacks, or for her to give me a short shopping list. No problem, I think to myself. I can just eat smaller portions for a month. Clearly, it was a big problem for her. She starts declining my offers, and keeps asking for me to give her my EBT card and PIN. I can go with you is met with... No, I like to be independent. Give me your card. If you give me a list is met with, This is the only time I leave my apartment. Give me your card. I am not giving you my card is met with, word for word, a repeat of her whole spiel about how she's starving and needs food and her children are dead. Now, I'm gullible and giving. Well, I used to be. But I'm not giving someone who stopped me in the street my sole means to afford food every month. 
She follows me back towards the apartment building, wailing about how she needs food so badly, only to stop following when we actually get to the parking lot. A week later, a different fellow tenant is meeting us, made cookies to welcome me and my roommate. Nice lady. I mentioned the crazy lady demanding my EBT card and this tenant, without even blinking, replies with, She tries that with every new tenant. Half the building has restraining orders against her because she demands debit and credit cards from everyone. She has not been removed because she's in her 80s and her kids won't talk to her. Neither one of them is dead. I can't imagine what it would have been like growing up under a woman like that. It probably would have been just pure hell and misery, and to be fair, now it makes more sense why she stopped when you got to the parking lot, because if a lot of those tenants have a restraining order against her, she knew she couldn't take another step further. People are absolutely nuts. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.